morning welcome to vlogmas day three um i'm feeling very stressed out right now if you can't tell it's actually not even morning i woke up late today and it's already one o'clock i've been sitting here editing day one and day two because i already like talked about this i don't want to get too into it that i've just i had a bunch of videos lined up the week hi baby you're beautiful oh you're beautiful I had a bunch of videos lined up the week before vlogmas so i was literally i mean one of my vlogs that was due went up on december 1st that wasn't part of vlogmas so that was just poor planning and it's luckily vlogmas has less sponsors and i can just like vlog how as freely as i want which is amazing kitty honey i'm vlogging she's obsessed with just like standing in my windows which i mean all cats are but when i first had her she had the catio in the window so she really loves like sitting behind my curtains because it's kind of like the catio is still there i'm sorry baby it's too cold for the catio anyways i have my coffee i'm drinking chamberlain coffee right now you guys i've already dug into my packs and i haven't filmed the taste test video i'm still filming it it's just not going to be as like a first impressions as i wanted it to because i just like i couldn't wait to try it um i'm drinking the early bird right now which has the most caffeine and i am digging it um but yeah i'm pretty much just going to sit here and i'm trying to grind through these two videos to get uploaded while we start today's vlog i just wanted to say hello vlogmas day three um we are still starting the room transformation today so that's what this video is i'm really really excited try and finish up editing before all the sunlight goes away by five o'clock so i'm hoping i can like grind out editing within the next two hours i'll be here editing i just wanted to start the vlog say hello i'm literally still in my pjs i'm wearing this really cute shirt from um kilo and co it's one of my favorite small businesses in detroit they make really cute little tees and then i have my favorite pj bottoms from target target makes the best pajamas so if you guys need pajamas they're the best and they're way less expensive than like other places i haven't even turned lights on in my room i just sat my laptop down on my desk here and we're starting and we've been editing so this is what it's looking like um it's that time of the month right now too which is like why i woke up so late out of it i was having the worst cramps and i also you guys i don't want to bring this up in this video but i also feel like i should um there was super tragic news um and i'm not even going to get into it but i very poor decision of me to deep dive into that story on my phone last night from tiktok and it was just not good for my mental health to be digging into a really scary scary um story so i'm praying for her and i pray that she gets justice for what happened because it's just not okay so um yeah be careful at night when you guys are on your phone if you start to click something that you know you shouldn't be watching right then turn your phone off throw on some vlogmas or even if vlogmas isn't doing it right for you throw on some disney plus i've been loving disney plus lately to just get me out of like social media world pick up a book do something and i'm working on that myself so i just wanted to like be real with you guys i just kind of got in a really bad social media stuck last night and was up super late and had my mind wandering on my period so this morning started really rough i think the mornings start rough depending on how you figure out your night my night was amazing last night my hair is all gorgeous from the mask i did like i'm feeling fresh here but in here not so much so we need to make sure we're doing both things and keeping track of both things on the outside and the in and yeah that's my little rant okay i need to stop vlogging because i'm procrastinating by talking to you guys instead of editing okay guys i'm still here editing day one it's quite a long one so i've been stuck here way longer than i wanted to hi guys it's a little while later now i pulled myself together a little bit and i want to kick off this redoing my room vlog hey shh. she barks at everything outside the window those are neighbors it's okay a lot of you guys comment about my room all the time and i know it's beautiful i love my bedroom and i think i did a good job during quarantine a little backstory on this bedroom is i live at my dad's house and i actually used to live in the room next door when we first moved in here if you guys used to watch my vlogs way back when i had the day bed that used to be my old bedroom once i moved out into my condo my little brother took the bigger room of course because he was staying here for much longer and i wasn't really planning on ever moving back obviously a bunch of stuff happened at the condo 
condo and I then moved back home so then this was my room and right after kind of moving back into my dad's is when COVID hit so I kind of like decorated and designed this room through quarantine. I did the spotted wall during quarantine. My mom also lives very close by and I still have my like childhood bedroom there with a lot of my stuff. I just don't stay at both houses like I used to. It's really really hard on me and honestly quite impossible with living at two houses at this age and with what I'm doing so it's easier for me to just, just to choose one place and kind of moving back in here during COVID is kind of like my reset to stay here until I'm fully ready to kind of move out for good. I'm hoping within a year or so. So this is my bedroom. I designed it during quarantine and basically the reason I want to like update it and redo it a little bit is because it reminds me a lot of quarantine and it's a very tiny bedroom and I'm in this room more than I've ever been in a bedroom in my whole life so I just want to like update it change it a little bit and it's also just interesting for you guys I love designing I love home decor I love things like that so I think doing that will be fun we're not doing anything crazy like I'm not really trying to buy stuff I'm mostly just going to be using paint and then a little like decor stuff that I want to get to kind of change up the vibe I just want a brighter fresher room and you guys know I love white so my initial thought is to paint my room white but I also really love like a good green color and I'm kind of like I think I need some color in my life to change it up a little bit so my base plan was to paint this back wall like a really pretty pale green color and then brighten up the rest of my walls with white paint this wall and then this wall with my window and mirror on it honestly don't need much paint because they're mostly covered but this is the biggest wall so this would be green and then every other wall would be like a fresh white the only issue with that is I'd be taking away my spotted wall and I know so many people love that so I'm kind of thinking I might first do that and then redo the spotted wall somewhere else or here maybe with like a different color um, I also had people DMing me I should do a spotted wall on top of the green wall to just make it like one to make just like one big accent wall I think that's what we're all going to figure out through this process. I have no specific ideas. I'm kind of just like doing what I want to do. All I have figured out so far is I've gotten two different paint samples. Obviously the first green that I got was just way too dark. Colors always look so much darker on the walls once you bring them home. So totally screwed up that one. And then the second green I picked up is obviously very, very pale. Um, but it up next to white, you'll be able to see the green a lot more. And since all my bedding and like this beautiful piece is white, I think with the green in the background will just be so gorgeous. So I honestly think I'm going to go with this color. It is from Sharon Williams. I'll put the color on the screen. We're obviously not going to be painting the walls today. I'm going to save that for another day because we're getting kind of a late start. But so the other update that I want to do is this shelving unit. Um, since I want to brighten it up and bring in the green to the room, I kind of want to take away all the little black accents that I have. There's nothing wrong with my room right now at all. Let me just say that. I think it's gorgeous. I love it. I know a lot of you guys love it. Um, I just want something different. That's bottom line. That's all it is. So the only thing I could think of with this is spray painting it or painting it white just to kind of brighten it up a lot. And then once I put these bins back in, I think it will look a lot more uniform and pretty. And I don't know. I bought this piece through quarantine um, to use as like my TV stand and extra storage in here so it wasn't like a furniture piece I was obsessed with it was just something easy and something that I actually needed but I'm kind of just over the black so that is today's project we are going to spray paint this white I already got the paint So here are actually some of the paint samples. This was the first green color that I picked up. Um, I got this at Lowe's. Oh, this is still Sharon Williams. This is Sharon Williams Honeydew. Was that darker green color that you guys saw, if you're curious. And then the lighter green that I got. Okay, wait, I lied. This one's from Lowe's. So this is the dark green color sample that I got from Lowe's. And this is still Sharon Williams. It is the color Heaven. Yeah, it's Heaven Interior HG. TV color sample. So that's the dark green and then then the lighter green this one was actually from the Sharon Williams store which is amazing because you get so much more in a sample with this one compared to this one. This was only like six bucks. I honestly think I could maybe get away with buying just a second sample and doing this wall so I don't have to buy a gallon of green paint. Um, but yeah this is the honeydew shade so this is the lighter one. This is the color we're going to use. Um, I'm excited. This is the white spray paint that I got for the shelving unit. By the way, you guys, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just winging this. I'm sure there's probably a better 
way to paint it, but I'm just doing the easiest and what I thought of. But this is an all-in-one paint and primer, and it's just in a satin white color. So it says, any angle, any surface, indoor, outdoor, seems like it's covering all the bases for me. I'm going to try and take this out in my backyard, and we're going to spray paint it white today. I have my painting fit on. I threw these gray joggers on that I already got paint on, so they're kind of just like my joggers that I wear when I'm doing work stuff that I don't care about. And then, since we're using white paint, I was going to put on a black sweatshirt, but I was like, wait, that doesn't make sense. We're using white paint. Um, so I just threw on my classic merch crew neck. This isn't a size large, so it's nice and big on me. They're super comfy, and I'm just not too worried about this getting dirty. I have so many of them. Um, so yeah, you guys should check out my merch. I love this crew neck. It's so cozy and just like, I don't know. It's very different than anything else. This is an embroidered patch on the front, um, if you guys didn't know. And it's the very first piece I ever designed. So I think that's really cute. This is my painting look. I got my slippers on. We're first going to clear off the shelving unit and then we will take it out to the backyard and start to spray paint. So... from Target they are incredible they still have them and I think they have like a darker gray color too I organize all my stuff categories in here they're not necessarily organized on the inside but like I have my paints in here this is electronics that's like home stuff like things I need for my room lighters paper random crap this is Olive's cat bin um, PR stuff bathing suit so definitely a good idea if you guys need more storage and then I have my computer, but this is the clean shelving unit. This is also from Target. I think it's like a TV stand um, or like a council table or like an entryway table. I don't really know what it's called. I'll link it down below if you guys want to check it out. Um, but it's nice and sturdy metal table. So first I'm going to wipe it all down with some cleaner product just to get all this little dust and crap off of it to get it nice and clean and then we'll drag it outside to start cleaning. Alright, here we go. Okay, so I think, like, when did you, like, when did you the first coat I have no idea what I'm doing to the entire first bottle so this is what it's looking like obviously very splotchy but it is the first coat I only bought one can so I'm actually gonna go run to the store now to get another can to see if I can finish off a second coat before it is too too dark out it's actually not even close to five yet it's just dark because the sun went away um, so I think I have a tiny tiny bit of time and this needs to dry anyways so let's run to the store grab a spray paint can and come back and hopefully do a second coat My camera's actually inside charging, but I wanted to get out here as fast as I could to do the second coat. I actually just finished the second coat. So it's looking a lot less splotchy, but I did buy two cans. So I'm gonna do a third coat, but it's definitely getting dark out here real soon. So honestly, I think I might just wait till tomorrow because it might need to dry better anyways. The bottom's getting a little messed up because like little pieces of grass are flying in. And also I need to do like the black part at the very bottom, but for the most part, it looks pretty good. And to be honest, most of the shelves are gonna be covered with those baskets. So the most important is this top piece and then like the front corners and stuff that you see the most. Um, I mean, I'm not trying to make it perfect, but I think it looks really good. And I think the white is just gonna be so much cleaner and kind of make my room feel bigger. So that's what it's looking like. The second can is empty. And yeah, I'm gonna go inside, warm up for a little bit, and then maybe we can get to the third coat tonight. If not, 
that will be tomorrow so yeah i actually just texted henry my little brother um if you want to go get food with me because i have not had dinner yet and i want to get out of the house so he's in the basement but we just text <laughs> kind of want chipotle but i know he doesn't like doing the online order olive sleeping of course oh i also stacked all the bins over there just to like get them out of the way and then my computer is here since that shelving unit's already out of my room there's no reason to like bring it back in if we're gonna paint so i think that will be tomorrow's plan we're gonna finish the shelving unit we got to go to the store buy some more paint and i think we'll start with the green wall actually no i think we'll start with the white paint everywhere and then we'll do the green wall last so waiting to see what henry wants for dinner and then i'll take you guys along with that my room looks so white like this because my closet's white um i don't know i just think the white walls will brighten up the space so much um somebody did comment saying that they think the green wall in the back might like throw off videos if i'm trying to like show clothes or something but since i will have all my other walls white i think i'll be able to make it work when i want to show the green wall and when i want to not show the green wall um Olive. Stretch, Stretch. So I try to pick her up, let her stretch, and then she actually did it. Get over. Yeah. You want to drive? Sure. Oh look, he's looking right at you. I'm surprised she's so chill right now. Oh, there she goes. Are headed to Qdoba. You want to drive my car? Yeah. Sure. Are you ready? I'm gonna back it up. Oh god, I have so much. So tiny. chicken tacos. Um, I actually didn't finish them. I have some left in the fridge for tomorrow, which will be good for lunch. I have my big ice water. By the way, you guys, this is the only way I will drink water. Call me high maintenance if you want, but I just love it. I actually normally have a glass straw, but right now we're using the gold ones because the other ones are dirty. These are just these huge mason jars. Um, I get them at Meijer. They're super inexpensive. I'm sure you can buy them online too in packs, and they're just my favorite way to drink ice water because they're nice and big. I know I'm getting a lot of water intake, and I don't know what it is about it i feel like once you dedicate a certain glass you'll like do that more um but anyways i think i'm just gonna end this vlog here and hopefully this room transformation will be happening very fast so so maybe after the weekend we can start christmas decorating next week so i'm excited um thank you guys for being patient with me and i know these vlogs aren't the most extravagant things in the world um but yeah, it is what it is. So if you guys aren't subscribed, subscribe. Um, we have a whole month of vlogs coming to you every single day. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Or I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.